I wanted to show you an example of how you can use your graphing calculator for problems like this where you have to find the average rate of change uh, for some function it gives you an equation and then going from some x1 to x2 or basically it has two x values that you're changing over so what I do whenever I do problems like this on my calculator is you can actually put in the function into your calculator um, so you can put if you go to y equals up here at the kind of top row on the left um, you can actually put in the function that it wants you to find the average rate of change between so this one wants me to do 5x squared um, as my uh, function that we're doing the average rate of change for so I'll start by putting that in uh, my calculator in the y1 spot um, or you can pick any of the spots really but I just choose the first function now normally when we are calculating average rate of change we'll have to get the y values that go with each x value they give us um, to find basically your slope of you know kind of a line um, so they give us an x value on a part here it says the interval 2 to 3 so we basically would need to plug in 2 into this function and 3 into this function um, to get the y values respectively and then of course we subtract the y's over the x's you know that's for your average rate of change and then divide that so I'm gonna go to the home screen here um, I'm just gonna quit out of the function second so quit and you can actually plug in values from your calculator by bringing up that function so what you want to do is hit vars over here on the calculator kind of right side and then scroll over to where it says y vars and we want to pick the functions so right here it pulls up y1 y2 y3 all those I put my function in y1 and if I want to plug in say the value 2 okay I would do y1 print open parentheses 2 and then close parentheses and this actually will give you the value that you have to plug in uh, to you know this will give you the y value that goes with 2 when you plug 2 into the original function and now you can do the same for the the 3 as well um, so you would go back to vars pull up y vars and then you do the first one I want to do that the 3 um, so there's my uh, y values that would go with those and now of course you can do your slope or you know your average rate of change by subtracting the y's so the y's over the run so the y's over the x's um, right there so you'll basically have this division going on right there and um, then you get your answer whatever for your average rate of change now I would also say that you could set it up to where you did this calculation uh, all in kind of one fell swoop because on this problem you can see like a a part gets us to do that same thing like multiple times so you could also set it up to where okay you bring up vars y vars um, and we're gonna do the three first so that'll give me the y value when I plug three into my function minus and then vars y vars um, I'm gonna plug in now two um, and then that's the numerator so that'll be the y's divided by and then I'm gonna open another set of parentheses for my um, bottom part which is three minus two so you could also do it like this where you kind of set it up all together um, right there and get your answer or whatever uh, for your problem okay now what's the value of this is when you go down to another part such as this next one where it says find the average rate of change from 2 to 2.5 well you just need to bring up what you just put in um, if you want to bring up like a past entry you can do second and enter and all I need to do now is just go back here to where I, I don't need to change the two but the um, the three I'm gonna change that to two uh, I need to insert some stuff so second insert 0.5 and then so I changed that three to 2.5 and then go over here I need to change this this three that's right here uh, I need to change it to 2.5 as well so two second insert 0.5 and now I have the next one calculated as well so this is a really good method the calculator is for finding average rates of change back to back to back um, if they're making you uh, 
you know, plug them in simultaneously, like the same function for multiple ones, um, especially on these types of problems that show you, uh, you know, as you kind of decrease toward the instant rate of change. Um, that's a good problem to kind of have this Y feature on uh, for easy kind of working it out.